Hello class, today we will be making a painting in the style of Mark Rothko. Mark Rothko's style of painting is so simple and easy that all you have to do is take a pencil and some paint. If you don't have paint, this is watercolor paint. If you don't have paint, it's okay to use crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Let's get started. First, you can watch me and then you can make yours if you want. Watch this. Mark Rothko likes to put rectangles and squares that look like they're in the center of the composition. So there's always a frame around. And the squares are sometimes different sizes and rectangles. I'm going to put two here today. So here I have two rectangles, a large one and a more narrow rectangle with pencil. Now I don't want the lines to show up. I just want the paint to show up. It's time for me to fill them in. And this is it. If you finish one composition early, you can make a second one. Please take a minute to look up Marth, Mark Rothko work. If you haven't seen Mark Rothko's work, please look it up now, just to get an idea of how your composition should look. I'm choosing blue. I'm making this blue color here by taking a drop of water, putting it on my blue and rubbing it back for a very long time until the water turns into paint, watercolor paint. I want to paint this square, this rectangle blue. And I think I want to paint the other spaces on the composition darker shades of blue or maybe a green. I'm paying attention to the way my brush strokes look. So even though I have a very tiny brush, I want this area to look smoothly filled in. So I want this area to be nice and dark too. I don't want it to be too light. So it's gonna, I'm gonna have to use lots of watercolor for this. If you wanna start now, you can. Go ahead and make two or three rectangles on your paper in the style of Mark Rothko. Did you make your two rectangles? Are you coloring in your rectangles now? With paint, are you painting inside of your rectangles? Today when you share your work, you might have more than one composition and that's okay. If you finish fast, you can make another one. Today is a very easy day. We're just doing abstract expressionism in the style of Mark Rothko. When you present your work today, in order to get the five points, you have to use the word color field painting. That's for the big kids. If little kids, if you can remember that word, you can use it too. Color field painting. It's just the field of color. So I want it to be very blue here in this field. This field below, I might make dark blue. So pay attention to how you're filling in your field. It has to look nice and even. Taking a drop of water, putting it in my paint, rubbing it back for a very long time. That's it. Color field painting. If you need to turn your paper and rotate it, make sure you do that so that you can reach the side that you're working on.
color field painting. It's just fields of color. Are you painting in your fields of color? My first field of color is almost finished with blue here. Okay. I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna put some more here in this area because I don't want it to be too light. Be very gentle with the brush. Make sure that your brush is always smooth. Okay. Don't let the hair split apart and split open. Don't let that happen. Let it stay nice and smooth. So I'm done with my first color field. Now it's time for me to do my second one. I think I want to make a color in the top of my tray that has blue in it. So I'm going to be mixing colors here. We get lots of blue. and put it in the top of my tray. I'm still getting lots of blue. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of green or yellow with it. If I mix yellow with it, it'll take longer to turn green. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of green with it so that it'll already be nice and dark turquoise. Just a little bit more blue paint here. And now it's time for green. Get a drop of water, rub it back for a very long time inside of the green, and mix it in. There we go. So now let's see how this color comes out. Oh, more green. Needs, needs more green. I'm mixing my paint in the top of my tray. I want this to come out nice and dark too. I don't want it to look light like watercolor. I want it to be a little bit darker. So I need to make a lot of paint, mix a lot of paint. I don't want to run out. It doesn't have to be so neat. Mark Rothko's work, his color field paintings look a little messy. R-O-T-H-K-O, Rothko. Let's see what comes up. There he is. Check out all these color field paintings. So you just have fields of color. That's it. See, this one is red and red with a frame around it. This one is orange and blue. This one is yellow, beige, yellow, and red. This one is orange, yellow, and orange with a frame around it. This one is green, beige, and green. And this one that I'm making is blue and turquoise or blue and emerald. What color is yours? It's almost time for us to share. When you share your work, make sure you use the word what? color field painting. Mark Rothko explored many different colors in his color field paintings. What colors will you choose? What colors did you choose? If you finish your work early, please make another one. So you can't say, Miss French, I'm finished. If you finish fast, make two. I don't want anyone rushing. This should be very nice and almost perfect painting, perfect brush strokes. This is enough. I like mine. There we go. Wow. Now I'm going to do the outside edge. The outside edge should actually be black or gray. 
or yellow. Let's see. Oh wow, this is actually, there's some green on my yellow, so it's actually a pretty cool color. So here goes. Mark Rothko style color field painting. This would be easier if I had a bigger brush, but I don't. So that's why it's good to, you can turn your brush sideways this way to paint more at a time. Just be very gentle with your brush. Don't ruin it. If it sounds like it's rubbing against the paper, that means it's too dry. You always want your brush to be nice and wet so that you're not damaging the bristles. I think that it was a good choice to choose this chartreuse type color that I made here. I'm just gonna add a little bit more green to it. Here we go. Whoa, now it's really green. It's probably too green, check it out, whoa. When you look at Mark Rothko's work, you'll notice that sometimes the colors do blend like this. So that's why it's okay for me to blend this, to make this chartreuse turn a little bit more green. Because we're doing it in the style of Mark, Mark Rothko, and Mark Rothko does that. Let's see, He does what? He lets his yellow change into green. He lets his colors change sometimes. This is my frame, so I'm letting it change. My my color fields are nice and even. I'm leaving it that way. It's almost time for us to share. When you're ready to share your work, please raise your hand in Zoom. You'll get five points if you use the word color field. Color field painting. You, if you remember the artist's name, you can use that too. Mark Rothko. Mark Rothko. Rothko style color field painting. It's a form of abstract art. It's not a picture of anything real. It's abstract, it's just shapes. These paintings are worth millions of dollars. Mark Rothko invented this style and everybody loved it from 1949 to 1970 is when he was doing these. Do -do -do. Okay, let me present my work. Hello, my name is Miss French and this is my color field painting in the style of Mark Rothko. Color field painting is a style of abstract art. I chose the color blue and then I made the color emerald and I also made this chartreuse color for my frame. Thank you.